Hello. Five and a half years ago, I started acting in Nashville. It was a huge struggle at first because I had trouble memorizing and I get stage fright. I remember from my first acting scene in class, it took me a week to memorize two pages of dialogue. Now part of that was nervousness. I realized that if I'm gonna do this thing, I'm gonna have to give everything and it's going to be an uphill battle. And so I relentlessly committed myself to the craft and to taking acting classes. And little by little, I've made progress. In 2017, I directed my first short film, Holding Caleb. It was one of 200 films chosen out of 6,000 entries accepted into the 2018 Nashville Film Festival. I've done many short films, a few day players, commercials, plays, and music videos. I've supported my acting the last five and a half years with my car detailing business. I washed extra cars one winter and saved $4,000 so I could take an acting course in New York. I'm consistently having to make financial sacrifices to keep this alive. I've begun to realize during this process that to have a chance to accomplish my dreams, I have to give everything. I have to sacrifice everything. It's part of the price. And I'm starting to understand what that really means. But I'm trying to have fun while doing it. And if I don't learn to have fun, I'll just end up going crazy. And sometimes I've found that the best way to feel better during this tough process is to dance. About this time last year, I was a month out from moving to LA. Now, a few months prior, I hitchhiked across America to LA to check it out, and I decided I wanted to move there. So I sold my car, sold my furniture, and most of my belongings. And a month before I left, I felt like I wasn't supposed to go. And this made no sense to me because I'd already set my heart on going, I made all the proper arrangements, but I could not shake this feeling off. And here we are a year later and Hollywood is shut down and so is most of the film industry around the world. Well, during this time where I felt like I wasn't supposed to go to LA, I felt like I was supposed to look into training into the UK. And this made no sense either because I had never thought about it. Well, the more I looked into it and the more I read about other actors that I admire who have trained there, the more excited I began to get about this. You know, sometimes you follow, you follow your instinct and it makes no sense, but you just, you just know it's the right thing to do. Well, long story short, I flew out to Bristol, England in January and I auditioned for the Bristol Old Vic Theater School. Now, I didn't even hear back for seven months, so I assumed I wasn't going. Well, I just heard back and I got in. The Bristol Old Vic Theatre School was started in 1946 by Sir Lawrence Olivier. It's one of the top acting uh, conservatoires in the world. They accept 14 people each year into their MFA International Acting Program. They have many notable alumni, including Daniel Day-Lewis, Patrick Stewart, Jeremy Irons, Olivia Coleman, and many more. Christopher, you're about to go audition for the Bristol Old Vic Theater School talking to myself right now, just in case, uh, you know, I look back on this years from now and, and know that today is a day that, that things started to really shift in my life. I don't know what's gonna happen, but um, part of winning is just showing up and I showed up. Keep on pressing in, keep God first. And this is why I'm making this video, because I need your help. If you're a dreamer out there like me, it would mean so much to me to have your support. I will honor your gifts with my commitment to tell stories 
and make the world better. I love acting because it's been a medicine for my soul. And my goal with my acting is to tell stories one day that act as a medicine for other people. Thank you.